So welcome to week number 8 of Visually Understanding Quantum Computing. Uh, the gate we are about to study today is really important because it has connections to one of the gates that we studied previously. It also has connections to some of the gates that we are about to study in the upcoming videos. So uh, let's get started. And the gate is the phase gate. And this phase gate is sometimes also known as the general phase shift operator in quantum computing. Here we are denoting it with P lambda, but it is sometimes also denoted with R phi. And talking about the matrix, this is the matrix that represents this phase gate. And this is a very special matrix because if you see uh, previously, all the matrix that represented our gates were having constant entries, whether it was a uh, whether it were real or complex values, but all of them were constant. But if you see here, this entry has a variable, which is uh, the variable is lambda. So that's why, you know, it makes uh, this one a little more special. So let's try to do what we do every time. We'll apply this uh, uh, gate to 0 cat and 1 cat, and we'll try to uh, analyze the results, all right? So first we'll apply to 0 cat and substituting the matrix uh, and the vector doing the simple matrix uh, multiplication and what we get is 0 cat. So when you apply this uh, phase gate to 0 cat, what you eventually get is 0 cat. So this phase gate doesn't have any effect on the 0 cat, it seems. So let's get to the second part uh, where we will you know, try to apply this to 1 cat and let's see if, if it has any effect on it or not. Again, substituting the matrix and the vector, carrying out the matrix multiplication, trying to write it creatively so we can represent it using the direct notations. So now you see here that uh, the e to the power i lambda term has not vanished. So, so there is some importance to get this gate after all. And I just want you to know about this matrix, uh, this identity of for this e to the power i lambda, which is nothing but this. So e to the power i lambda uh, can be simply written as uh, squares lambda plus i sine lambda. So you know uh, this uh, result that we have got is kind of a general result, you know, because it has this variable lambda in it. So let's try to put some value for this lambda and try to analyze uh, the uh, result we get after that. So let's try to put lambda equal to pi, and if we put uh, substitute this. Uh, value then this is what we get from the identity I showed you previously. So this is just the same identity except I have just plugged in pi for in all the places except for the lambda okay. And then again uh, this is these this is a simple math and what you get uh, is minus one. So e to the power i pi equals minus one. Now uh, let's try to plug in this uh, value into the matrix we had previously. So this is what you get. So this matrix here uh, was for the general case of lambda and this matrix that you see here is uh, for that particular case and lambda equal to pi. And if you observe this uh, matrix carefully, this is nothing but the poly z operator that we have studied previously. So it turns out that the poly z operator, uh, the operator was just a special case of this phase gate, all right? So now let's try to use this particular gate and apply it to the one cat. So doing that, uh, again substituting the matrix and the vector, carrying out the matrix multiplication and what you get is minus one cat. And if you just try to recall, this is the same thing we have got for the z applying z operator on the one cat. And again, uh, this minus one just contributes to the global phase and we know that uh, global phase has nothing to do with the observable uh, changes. So this minus one cat is just as good as uh, plus one cat, all right. So uh, from mathematics uh, so far, we are trying to understand that the uh, gate will have definitely no effect when you apply it to zero cat. And for one cat, for that particular case for lambda equal to pi, uh, we will, we should not see any effect because uh, this is just a uh, difference in the global phase of this minus one cat all right so we are expecting that even if you apply it for one on one cat it should have no effect 
and if you are curious you should try to plug in different values uh, for the lambda and try to see uh, what you get and post it in the comments uh, so we can have a healthy discussion there and for now let's get to the visualization part so before we proceed uh, let me tell you that we cannot use quantum glasses for visualizing the phase gate and this is because uh, the cascade functions that were used to create the quantum glasses do not support the phase gate so i have just written a little piece of code that can help us with the visualization so let us first try to visualize what would happen if uh, we apply the phase gate for lambda equal to pi uh, to the zero ket and uh, from the mathematics we are expecting that there should be no change at all and let's see what happens so if you see uh, this is what we get zero ket and this is what we were expecting uh, the phase gate has clearly no uh, effect on the zero ket state now uh, let us try to see what would happen if we apply it on one ket with a lambda equal to pi again we are expecting that there should be no change at all but let's see Again, uh, you can see that we, uh, we just got one ket here. So again, the phase gate has absolutely no effect on one ket. So is it that this phase gate is something completely useless or something like that? And obviously that's not the case. So let me just help you uh, with some visualization part. And I hope with this visualization, uh, things will be more clear to you. And like, what is the purpose of this phase gate at all? And uh, if you have seen that Z operator video, I want you to pause this video right now and just try to guess what is what's the purpose of the phase gate. Okay. So if you see here in the first step here in qubit zero, we just apply a simple not operator and the resulting state is one ket. Then we apply a header mod operator and the resulting state is this minus ket state. All right. Then uh, we apply the phase gate and we see this rotation of uh, pi uh, radians. All right. And uh, so it means that it does ha have some use. All right. So the catch here is that if if the state vector is in the in this x y plane only uh, then a phase uh, gate can have uh, any effect on the state vector if it's not in this x y plane here then uh, the phase gate cannot affect the state at all and if you recall uh, the same explanation was for the z uh, gate as well because uh, uh, of course the z gate is just a special case for uh, the phase gate all right if you observe the zero ket and the one ket both are out of this uh, xy plane and that's why it's just not possible for phase gate to affect this uh, gate at all okay now uh, let us try to change the value for this uh, lambda now let's just try to do it for pi by 4 and see what we get so and I want you to carry out the uh, calculations for this particular value of pi by 4 and uh, see what you get. It will be for an exercise. And again, the first two steps are still the same. But what the change is here, you can see there is a pi by 4 rotation on the block sphere. And uh, so therefore, I think you might have just guessed that uh, what, what happens is that uh, when you apply the z operator uh, you just get the direct rotation of uh, pi radians all right but if you want a more controlled rotation in this xy plane you can use this phase gate uh, by uh, changing the value of uh, lambda you can just uh, take any arbitrary uh, 
control over this you know a arbitrary uh, value for this lambda can help you uh, to control this rotation in the xy plane of your particular state vector and uh, that's it uh, from this week's video in the upcoming videos we will be seeing these special cases for uh, this particular phase uh, gate and uh, these special cases are already in the quantum glasses so for the next time we won't be needing to write this separate code we will be directly using quantum glasses and uh, we will see that next time and uh, until uh, then uh, take care